here and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We are going to be figuring out what to do with this mess. So if you guys have not already seen my video where I opened up all these Hatchimals collectibles, um, there is a link down in the description where you can see where I open these up. But as you can see, we have a big mess here and we need to find a way to store these adorable little Hatchimals. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is what an egg looked like after I hatched it. You see we have our little Hatchimal in here and we're gonna take it out and set that aside. Now what we need to do is break this open. So there is actually a little line running along the egg where you can break it down to that point. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna push all of the shell in and it'll go about that far. Then we're just gonna start peeling it off. Now inside there's actually a little piece of plastic so we're gonna take that out. And then we're gonna continue breaking it down. So here is what the egg looks like once you have broken it down. Make sure you get all those little pieces of shells out. And here we have our perfectly broken down egg. So I was thinking that I had 11 of these Hatchimals, but I guess I actually have 12. So we have 12 of these little eggs. You can see that they are all broken down now to the bottom and they look really cute. So next we're gonna need an egg carton and I have this one right here. It says that it fits 12 jumbo eggs. So this one's a bit big. Um, if you can find one that is for smaller eggs, I would probably recommend getting that one, but we'll see how this one turns out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up. Of course, make sure that there are no eggs left inside. And here's what the inside looks like. So that is perfect for holding the little eggshells from the Hatchimals. Now what we're going to start by doing is first painting the outside of our egg carton. So first I've gone ahead and laid some paper towels down to protect my work area. Of course you can use some paper or cardboard or something like that just to make sure that you don't get any paint on the table. Next I'm going to pick a color for my egg carton and I'm going to pick this nice hot pink. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'm going to pour some out just straight onto the egg carton. And I like this color because it's kind of the same color as the nest. So that is really cool. And again, we're just going to place a lot of pink on here. Get a paintbrush and start painting. And just cover the whole thing with some paint. Once we have finished painting the outside of our egg carton, what I'm going to do is get a ruler and a pen and I am going to measure out a place to put a little viewing window. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across my lines and of course you will need a parent's help for the cutting and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and go right across the line. So now when you close the egg carton we will be able to see inside to see our little Hatchimals. So now we're gonna paint the inside as well. All right, so here is what the egg carton looks like when you have painted the outside and the inside. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some Mod Podge. So if you don't have any Mod Podge, you can mix some Elmer's glue and water to make your own. And I'm just gonna place it on a little plate here. Like that, you can kinda see it right there. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some glitter, and I have some pink sparkly glitter. And I'm going to pour it into the Mod Podge. Now I'm going to stir it up. Now I'm going to get my egg carton and I'm going to close it up. And then I'm going to dip my paintbrush in my glittery Mod Podge. And then I'm just going to brush it all over the outside of the egg carton. So here is what the outside of our egg carton looks like once we have finished with the glitter. And it looks really cool and super shiny. So next I'm going to want to get a piece of plastic and you can see it here. And this needs to be a little bit bigger than the hole that we have on top of the lid. So you can get any like plastic off of toy packages or other packages that you have around your house. They are usually around the outside and you can just take it out and use that for your plastic sheet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open up the carton. So I'm going to want to put my plastic sheet on the inside of the carton. Now you can tape it down or maybe use some Elmer's glue, but I am going to be using some hot glue. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get a Hatchimals Collectibles logo. And you can do this by printing one out. Or you can just cut one off of your packaging for your Hatchimals collectibles. And what I'm going to do is, again, I'm just going to use some hot glue. You can also use tape. We'll see how the hot glue works. And I'm just going to glue the back of it and center it just like that. Now we're going to get some self stick gems and place them on the outside of our container. Look what I found! I found some really cool gems here. So I'm going to take off a couple of these. So here is what the outside of our Hatchimals carton looks like. And I think it looks really cool. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now I'm going to get some plastic grass that you can get around Easter time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it and place some in each of these little cartons. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a few of these little crumply shell pieces. And that will also help weigh down some of the grass. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we are going to take the shells and place them into each of these little slots. And last but not least, we can place in our little Hatchimals. And I have one extra one, so he's going to share. And now when we are done playing with them, we can seal up the carton like that. And now we can look through the top and see all of our cool Hatchimals. 
Alright you guys, so what did you think of our Hatchimals collectible storage craft? I thought that this was a lot of fun. I think that it came out really nice and we now have a place to put all of our teeny tiny little Hatchimals, which is really, really awesome. So let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to try this and if you guys do, you can also send me a picture to my email address, which is down in the description. So as always, if you guys like this video, don't forget forget to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more Hatchimals Collectibles videos. Come back tomorrow for a new video, and if you liked the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media, and as always, thanks for watching.